click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another fantastic organic chemistry video. And today we're going to talk about resonance forms. Now, today we're working with two neutral resonance forms. No problem. Uh, let's see how to handle that. Well, here we have acetone. We have a carbonyl. So in a carbonyl, what you can do is you can take these pi electrons and move them to that oxygen. And that will give you this resonance form right here. Plus charge there. And the hybrid structure would look something like this. Where the oxygen is delta negative, the carbon is delta positive. Now, I often get questions like this, and this is a very good question in my opinion. Why can't we do this? And then move the electrons down to carbon. And then have something that looks, you know, something like this. There's nothing saying you can't do that. Um, in fact, I just did it, so obviously it can be done. But you have to consider the, the major and minor contributors to the overall hybrid structure. So this is the overall hybrid structure over here. You must consider major and minor contributors. Now recall, we talked about that in lecture, or your professor talked about it in your lecture, major and minor contributors to the resonance forms. So octets everywhere, that's number one rule. The resonance forms that have octets everywhere are the most significant contributor. So for this problem, that is your most significant contributor because it has octets everywhere, okay? Another rule, I think it's the second rule, anions on electronegative atoms are better than anions that have them on less electronegative atoms. So for example, oxygen's electronegativity is right around 3.8, carbon's right around 2.1 or so. So carbon's not as electronegative as oxygen. So putting a negative charge on carbon and a positive charge on oxygen is going to make this contributor extraordinarily minor. So minor, in fact, you don't even really consider it. Okay? So although you can draw it, don't draw simply draw this one because it has the negative charge in the electronegative atom that's important the electronegative atom has the negative the less electronegative has the positive that's a better contributor again this is the major one this is a minor one this is extraordinarily minor don't even draw it okay and this is your hybrid structure all right moving on so this one here don't forget there's lone pairs here and here and here and here. Now you can do this resonance form in a couple of steps. I'm going to show them to you in two steps. You could just take this pi bond, move it up to here, just like we did here. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and now we have a contributor with a sextet at carbon. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all wrong with that. Now we move these lone pairs towards that plus charge. And we'll get something that looks like this. There we go. So now in this particular resonance form, octet, 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 octets everywhere here, octets everywhere here, a sextet here. So in terms of major and minor, this is major, and that would be considered major. This one is the most major because it has the least amount of charge separation. And this is a very minor contributor. So when I'm drawing the overall hybrid structure, I would draw something like this. Delta negative, delta positive. That's how I would draw the hybrid form for that particular molecule. All right. Now, with that, guys, I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, helpful, please go ahead and slap that like button. It really does help us out. If you could, please leave a comment down below. Let me know the kind of questions that you're working on in your organic chemistry class. Maybe I can make a video just for you and help you out. And if you could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help out YouTube creators when you subscribe, including myself. Helps our channel grow, gets us noticed by the YouTube algorithm. And it would just be really nice if you did. So with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon, guys. Email drbetts at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.